So a lot of the work on big data was initially by um, online firms, you know, Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, eBay, Amazon, and, and small startups, mostly in Silicon Valley. Uh, my most recent work has been on, well, what happens when big companies start pursuing big data? Um, is it, uh, do they treat it the same way as they did small data? Nobody wants to call it small data, but you know, the more traditional structured form of, of data in relatively small volumes. And it turns out um, they really combine their approaches to traditional analytics and big data. I call this new approach Analytics 3.0. It's really the best traits of, of small data analytics, which is you know um, focusing on making decisions better, but doing it at larger scale with larger volume data, almost in an industrialized kind of way. And a lot of very large organizations like UPS and um, GE and um, Schneider Electric, uh, Schneider National Transportation, all pursuing this kind of 3.0 type of approach. I've always felt like the questions that companies should ask in pursuing big data should be driven by their key decisions. And unfortunately, there aren't that many companies who have clearly articulated what are their key strategic decisions and what are the key tactical um, decisions that you know, need to be done well in order to uh, achieve those strategies. But the one, for the ones that have, it's been very effective. And um, I have a course at Babson where we talk a lot about this. It's called Decisions, uh, very cleverly. And um, it really goes from how do you frame the decision in the first place all the way to what data and analytics might you have available in order to, to answer it more effectively.